Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're obviously in a very different location. Um, very comfy, casual, just chilling on my couch. These are the looks that I serve to do a little bit of online shopping. So today we're gonna be doing a video that I've had in my brain for so long and have never gotten around to, and that is gonna be buying and trying the cheapest makeup items at Sephora. So when I think Sephora, I really don't think cheap. I never walk out of Sephora spending less than 100 bucks because one foundation is 40 bucks, a palette 60 bucks, a lip product is 25 bucks, you know, it, the list goes on and on. So I'm gonna see what we can find for the low, low. Look, I got my handy dandy computer right here with the fingerprints. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we can find. All right, Sephora, what do you have for us? So there are a few different categories at Sephora. They've got face, cheek, eye, lip, and then brushes and applicators. I don't care about nails, so I have nails on right now. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start off with face. And we want to buy Fenty. We want to buy Laura Mercier, but we're going to go ahead and do low to high. This is what we see here. Obviously, I'm not going to buy this because it's empty. There's literally nothing in here, even though it's two bucks. First item I see here is this primer, and it's only $4.90. Good for oily, combination, dry, sensitive. Good for everybody. So since we're looking for the cheapest item, we're going to go ahead and add that to the basket. Let's go back and see what else we can find. I want to try this concealer, but I know when it says 7 to 14, it usually means 14. And yes, just as I suspected. 14 bucks, besides these few shades that are only $7. So if you are one of these shades, fantastic. But if you're not, then you're paying 14 bucks. So we're going to go back. Let me see if there's anything less expensive. Setting powder. Ooh, radiance drops. I don't see any cheap foundations. Even like a BB cream or tinted moisturizer or something. There we go. I don't know why I didn't see that. We've got this cushion fund. What? Is Sephora having a closeout sale or something? Because all these items that are on sale only have one or two shades available and they keep playing me. I think I'm getting a deal, but none of these are gonna work. Okay, so starting from the top, we're just gonna go ahead and get this concealer, 14 bucks. That's the best we can do for face. Yeah, I'm gonna go custard, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna throw these in the cart now. If it gets over $100 for the whole purchase, then I am putting them back, but right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get those. Let's go ahead and move on. I just found out that they don't sell ColourPop anymore, which really pissed me off, because I thought I was gonna buy some Fly $5 eyeshadows. But no, unfortunately not. So let's go ahead and see. I think I'm just probably gonna pick a shimmery eyeshadow. What? Eight dollars for a single shadow is the cheapest they have. I mean, they're pretty, but damn. I think I'm gonna go this shade just for the fun of it. Let's see what kind of low, low eyelashes we can get. Oh God. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care what you say. I know that Sephora knows better than this. See, I'm trying to buy these, but on this budget. I guess I'm gonna have to go with these because that's, I mean, that's the best I'm gonna get. So let's throw those in the bag. Don't tell me, I'm gonna have to wear a lip balm. I'm just not a lip balm kind of girl. Oh, luckily they're all sold out, so I don't have to worry about it. Thank you. Gloss, I will get down with the gloss. I will gladly get down with the gloss. But we have to only get sale ones, so. <laughs> Let's hope we can find something cute. In the tube, this looks freaking wild, which I'm cool with, but. When you go and look at it, it's actually this golden shade right here. We're gonna go ahead and go with this guy right here. Last but not least, applicators. 
<laughs> oh no! Sephora! <laughs> I thought they'd at least have like a beauty blender dupe as like a cheap item, but no. Sponge wheel? Sponge wheel! Once again, the day is saved by Sephora not updating their website. But unfortunately, I couldn't escape this. So I'm debating, do I wanna get a legit little sponge from Sephora collection? Or do I wanna be a little bougie on a budget and get the Makeup Forever little sponge? Cause this is legit just a sponge. Like one of those floppy little white sponges that you get in your makeup. But it's Makeup Forever. Better than a blender for $5. All right, sold. Bing. <gasps> NARS? Okay. Like, I'm actually gonna get this as well. I don't really know what it is, but for $6, we will find out. Look, we're getting some name brand in there. It's not just Sephora collection. Value sets under 25 bucks because there might be something more valuable for our time and effort here. Isn't it weird how this is just so much more appealing than this? And I don't even think it's just the dollar difference. I think it's the fact that it's on sale. This is a bronzer, a blush, and a mascara for $12. Right now I have a blush, a mascara, and a contour shade. That is a total of about 17 bucks. So if I get this instead, It'll actually save me some shmoney. What is the cheapest skincare that we can get? I do like a good gel moisturizer. And so, of course, we're just gonna get the teeny, teeny, tiny for five bucks. This is what we have right now, 11 items in our basket at 77 bucks, so about $7 a piece. Not bad at all for an entire new face. Keep in mind, we are gonna get some little freebies, so hopefully that will maybe, you know, help us out a little bit. Since we didn't get any foundation at all, we're gonna get this, this, and we'll get the skincare. All right, so PayPal it is. We've got that free shipping. Sephora got my order, and we're good. I am so tired right now. I'm ready for bed. I'm ready to wash this face. Um, tell future Ash I said hi, and I'll see you guys in a few days. All right, you guys, so our package came in, and do you notice that when you get a bougie product, they send one little product with like a 10 foot by 10 foot box? But they knew what I was doing. They knew I was going for the cheapie, so they sent me the cheapest little box that they could find in the warehouse. I see you, Sephora. There's like 20 items in this one tiny box. Okay. Hold this so you don't see my address. And this just shows everything that we got here. So we got quite a few, oh, I'm not even in the camera. Uh, so we got quite a few things, you guys. Got quite a few things. I'm gonna try to make a full face out of it. We'll see how it goes. We got some samples here, which I'm gonna try to incorporate in the look. Oh yeah, I was like thinking I was gonna have to use concealer for my whole face, but nope, girl, we got samples. By looking at this box, I feel like this is gonna be like a no makeup makeup look, or like at least I just cut my lip with cardboard, um, or at least like a natch makeup look. Starting off, I'm gonna take the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I'm pretty sure that everything that I got, I've never tried before. I'm an idiot. So I was expecting like a clear silicone primer, but it's more like a cream. Oh, super moisturizing. I managed to mess this up already, but I forgot that I got that $5 Clinique little gel moisturizer. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit. This is pretend like that never happened. Use a little bit of this gel moisturizer. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Can never be too moisturized anyway, so. Face is gonna be the most pricey part of this because I couldn't really find anything that was super, super affordable, but it's pretty much drugstore comparable. This was $8 and this was $14, so 
What can you do? I think we make up for it by having a free sample of foundation, so actually you didn't have to pay for this. Not too bad. But do not forget, you guys, that we got this little $6 NARS foundation stick blender. It's a stick touch-up blender. Like, it's probably the size of one of my eyeballs. It's, it's small. This is what $6 will get you at Sephora, just letting you know right now. But we had to be just a little bit balling on a budget, okay? So we had to get the little NARS. We're putting our foundation on with this. It's pretty soft actually, I'm not gonna lie. And then we're gonna do our concealer with this right here. These are the kind of daily pills you take when you are a makeup lover. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade beige because it looks like it would probably match me the best. Let's hope for the best. It just might be enough to cover my face. I didn't know how to get it out though. It's like, it's a good thing I have nails. I'm gonna take one little drop right there. I'm almost just tempted to mix these two together and see if I can make a full face out of it. Hmm. I feel like I'm just Bob Rossing it up right now with my hands. I just want to know whose idea it was to put luminizing drops in their foundation when they know that they don't have any setting powder. Me? Really? That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, okay. This concealer better come to save the day because it was, I believe, the most expensive item in this whole purchase. So I have high hopes for it. Oh crap. Uh, it's very creamy, like super creamy, but I am not a light concealer girl. Like I don't like that. I like a concealer that is maybe one shade lighter than my foundation. I don't really like that super highlighted under eye like we used to do. I just have to keep it real smooth, real soft. I honestly never do this step anymore. Like I never conceal like this, but I feel like it's the only way I can salvage the look by putting more coverage where I need it. You really gotta come pick up the trash right now when I'm filming. So essentially, I'm going to use these as setting powder. And I feel like it was only fair for me to get one Lifeline, which is a brush from my own collection, rather than having to buy a brush on Sephora because I wasn't gonna find a cheap, fluffy brush on Sephora. So I'm gonna use this as blush and as contour or bronzer because it's not really contour that I got. And I'm just gonna put this on like the outer portion of my face. I honestly don't think it's really gonna even make a difference, but... <laughs> We'll pretend. We'll play pretend today. I'll put the lighter shade of me inside of my face. The least they can do is set my face, so if they do that, then I'm good. Let's go ahead and pop open this little tart set, the one that we rationalized the shit out of, because it really did make the most sense to do it this way, you guys. We've got our mascara, which we will save for just a bit. And then we've got a bronzer and a blush. I'm gonna start bronzer first. Yeah, let's pretend that that's a nose contour. And moving on to blush. You cannot blame me for trying right now. I know liquid over powder is like one of the most evil things that you can do in makeup, but I need some sort of highlight, you guys. So I'm gonna try to use my fingers to dab some of this onto my cheekbones, even though we already kind of set our face. So I need some sort of glow. Like I can't, I can't go without the glow. Just to kind of show you that is what it looks like versus this. So it's pretty intense for you bucks, okay?
moving on to eyes, you, you saw what I had to do, right? I wonder how often they really even sell these because do people use these ever? Ever? No? I didn't really think so. I'm low-key heartbroken because this looks way, 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 way darker than I was expecting. <sighs> but what we're going to do, since we love being innovative on a budget, is I'm actually going to take this bronzer right here and use it as eyeshadow. And then I'll just go ahead and deepen it up with this right here. So we got to make it work. I feel like I'm 13 again right now. I feel like just save your coin if you're really trying to go cheap makeup and just use your fingers because to me, my fingers work better than that little sponge ever will. Yeah, guys, that's as much pigmentation as you're gonna get out of me today because I'm just trying to work with what I have. And next, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Mascara, and I'm really counting on you girls, so I hope you're good. I'm gonna give this mascara a thumbs up. I actually like it a lot and I was really, really rooting for it because although we bought some false lashes that are a little bit questionable, um, I really wanted my lower lashes to just pop and look bomb on their own. They got the job done. You guys don't feel like I deserve just like a little bit of brow, just like a tiny bit. That's much better. Um, so next I'm gonna take this brow freeze and we're gonna use this as like a brow gel basically, but it's a wax. I'm not mad at it. You definitely can't just use it by itself. Like you can't just go and it just looks right. You do have to brush it out because that's what's gonna give it that like hairy effect. That nice little werewolf effect that I enjoy. I feel like I could see myself using this on like a nice natural brow day. Now that we're done with that, we have, well, two final things to do. I'm gonna put on <laughs> some lashes. And if you saw online, you saw the first part of this video, like I said, they're a little questionable. <laughs> I'm really hoping that these are going on my eyes because they're pretty stiff. Obviously this is part of the challenge, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, you can find some good $7 lashes at the drugstore. The little flare is very cute, but in the front, my regular lashes were a lot more full than these ones. So I think maybe I just need to put a little curl on them. I'm not trying to be negative or anything. Oh my God. Everything was going okay up until this point. I feel like these are the worst lashes I've ever touched onto my face. Ever. And I'm not trying to be negative or anything. They're hanging off on the front and the back because they're super, super, super stiff and straight. So they don't want to stay glued on. They don't show up. I'm gonna have to rip these off before I leave the house. Like I'm just saying right now. So for the very final thing, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Gloss Balm. It is like slime green right now. <laughs> okay. So it's pretty much like a clear balm. I was thinking more of like the Fenty highlight, like as far as like the color, like a little bit green tint, but like very gold. And it's pretty much just a clear gloss with some slight shimmer. So not bad at all. You know, I live for a shimmery gloss. Yeah, that is my full face of cheapest makeup at Sephora. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're into the cheap makeup kind of vibe, I do have a whole playlist full of broken bougie makeup hauls and things like that so if you're new to my channel go ahead and check that out and that's pretty much it you guys i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you next time bye guys i really gotta go to work right now and i gotta rip these freaking lashes off my eyes oh wait i have to take pictures of the thumbnail <laughs> dang it why